Let's press on. All right. I feel like there's going to be at least one more major, like, boss combat. What are we going to plug into their heads, Les? A whole lot of history? A whole lot of so-called truth? A whole, a whole lot of noise? It's not pablum, Les. It's poison. I do think that is an interesting, um, like, if you're making a, if you're making, like, a knowledge capsule for a theoretical future humanity, um, where it's hundreds or thousands of years displaced from you, like, what, what history is, is significant? Like, at what point... Are you like teaching like if you teach like you know the Romans or you teach you teach uh, the uh, Meiji Restoration you teach you know um, the Three Kingdoms you teach um, Tsarist Russia you teach uh, American Revolution like all these things like all of them would be like ego and they would be self-serving to pass on to those future future persons. As opposed to just straight, like, equipping them with, with, like, mathematics. Or, or things like that. I'm on my way. Because, like, like, some things, like, maybe, 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 like, philosophy, um, or things like that, a lot of that stuff can be sort of contextualized by, um, like, current circumstances but like do, does it need to be because like there's certainly some things you can just in a vacuum give them like you know smelting bronze um i've been taking a hard look at the project oh fuck ted in the end it's simple it's clean it's clear erasure addition bye Subtraction. I can make it better, Liz. With a single oh stroke, no! Make it all go away. No, 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 no. Yep. Yep. Ted fucked it up. Ted fucked it up. Someone let Ted have access to the computer, and he fucked it up. Yeah, my my money is like he's like, oh we 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 need to do this for Elizabeth. Uh, we gotta honor her. But in actuality, he's being narcissistic and wanting to put his own touch on something. All my homies hate Ted. <laughs> Ah, uh, we found the Justice League. When I opened the hatch, the air rushed in from this side. Because there was none inside the chamber. But the Alphas were in there. Nothing but do to touch the glowy thing. out of court control. Alpha clearance overridden. What the hell is Omega clearance? Oh no. Alpha personnel. Sorry to alarm you, but I need you to listen, okay? To what I'm about to say. This isn't easy. See, uh, I've, uh, please, stop trying to access the system, okay? See, see what this is about is, um, I said stop trying to access the goddamn system. And what, what I'm trying to say is I can't stop thinking about the ones who come after us. Those innocents. Those blameless men and, 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 and women. We're going to give them knowledge? A 
Look, it's a gift. Ted, Ted, we've talked about this before. Apollo has 3,000 plus failsafe conditions. It's not a gift, it's a disease. They're the cure, and we're gonna give them the disease. Our disease? No, we can't. And it's not too late. If we're willing to sacrifice. Ted, it doesn't need to be like this. It already is, Samina. He fucking nuked Apollo. He fucking nuked Apollo. 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 Motherfucker. He sacrifice. It's not a sacrifice. Motherfucking piece of shit. Fucking making decisions for everyone else. Fucking. And he fucking, he fucking killed them. Are you fucking serious? You fucking shit stain. Fucking Elizabeth died. Fucking. Oh, I'm so fucking mad. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, Ted killed the Justice League. Fuck, Ted, Ted, Ted was already a shit person. Okay, we knew that when we got to like that first station and Silence first contacted us. We already knew Ted was bad news. Someone, like, not only did he get a shovel and continue digging past bed rock, he fucking called in extra contractors and like a, a deep well mining rig to fucking go as far down below as possible to just be the absolute worst shittiest fucking person he could possibly be fuck he killed them all so this is why this is why we were trapped in benighted ignorance for an innocent future blameless men he never saw the slaughter in the sun ring everything these people achieved all the knowledge of the old ones Evaporated, turned to dust, scattered to the void, like the Alphas themselves. No, not a void. When the hatch unsealed and scattered their ashes on the wind, it took them out among the world they made, the world we are living in. It's, it's a monument to what they died trying to accomplish. A monument to oblivion. Not oblivion, silence. Hope. Oh. Wow, oh, God. There is still an interesting bit. Um, I think I've called it like techno prim primitivism. That's a that's a really complicated word. I should think of a different phrase. So like, even though they're they're theoretically starting from unga bunga cave person stage. You know, with these machines, they actually have access to fairly sophisticated material sciences. So, like, even if maybe they don't have a smelter capable of, of, of treating aluminum or making um, stainless steel and all this stuff, they still have it. Like, we see it on their equipment, and we see them using these resources from the machines they hunt to create, in some ways, very advanced weaponry like with the explosives and things like that it it sort of still speaks to human ingenuity um like we, we making use of what we have available to us and the tools to improve and shape the world we live in so it's better for each successive generation after us also uh thank you for the hydrate Certainly needing, because I feel like I've been, uh, yeah, yeah. I need, I need it to cool down. <laughs> a master override. Oh, that's a lot smaller than I thought it's it was going to be. So small. Now all you have to do is kill Hades with it. I presume we just like throw it at Hades, right? Is that it's like a grenade. That'd be funny if we just like chuck it at Hades and it just like poofs. That's like not the right way to use it. It's like well. Now what? <laughs> it, it's like a, it's like, <laughs> it's 
Zoolander. Zoolander is like, the files are inside the computer. <laughs> Hades' weakness is inside the override. <laughs> Whee! Try not to fall to your death. The I'm sure that's fine. Doesn't override gravity. Oops, it goes gravity. The weakness to Hades were the friends we made along the way. And this gun! Yeah, all this was Elizabeth's dream. It's like, wake up, Elizabeth. We got a, we got a, we got Project Zero Dawn to work on. I'm so confused as to where this game wants me to go. While this lighting is pretty and very atmospheric. It does not give me insight as to where I should rise meteoric. I don't know. That was a, that was a pretty forced rhyme, but it's all that came to mind. Fuck! I mean, I see some mustard, but I don't know how to get to it. Because nothing is grabbing. Can I just... Sure. Parkour. Neat. You know what? It worked. And that's all that matters. You just mash the spacebar. <laughs> Puppies! Make sure you climb nice and high, Alloy, so when you fall, you break all your bones. Uh, you're... here. For a moment. What? Our journey together has come to an end, Aloy. But before I go, I think I owe it to you to tell you the rest of the story. Go on. Some time ago, I admitted that I'd been involved with the Eclipse. But I never told you the full extent of my culpability. The truth is, I was there at the beginning. I found Hades Aloy, buried on that mountain, trapped in that shattered titan. And I served it. Uh, you mean goatee? It promised knowledge and delivered such knowledge you have no idea. Kind of a, kind of a goatee thing. And in exchange? I helped create the Eclipse, helped it build a cult, an army to do its will. Why are you telling me this now? Because your success depends on knowing this. When I found Hades, the first thing it wanted to know about was the Spire, not Meridian, the Spire. Now why would that be? The Spire was created by Gaia. Which part of Gaia? M Minerva, its code-breaking module. Gaia built spires to transmit the codes that deactivated the Pharaoh robots, shut down their biomatter conversion systems. Hades wants to send a new transmission to wake the machines. Oh, so they, they were only shut the down. They weren't destroyed. Again. Yes. Based on what we've learned, that's my conclusion as well. So the Eclipse... The robots they've resurrected. They're just a means to an end. An army to capture the Spire. Yes. So Hades can exterminate life all over again. Unless you stop it. I want you to tell me everything. Hades, the Eclipse. Everything. It's a long story, Aloy. Then get started. It began with a focus. 
recovered from an ancient ruin, as yours was so many years ago. In my case, the device was heavily damaged. There was just a flicker of life in it. I spent weeks studying it, attempting repairs, until finally... It just needed new batteries. <laughs> a whole new dimension of perception revealed, right before my eyes. That's when I detected it. A faint signal. Out there, something was searching, just like I was. A real kindred spirit. I followed the signal to its source. A shattered titan, buried in the jungles of the jewel. So you thought it was a titan? An old war machine? I didn't know what to think. I'd seen such wreckage before. The great uh, all of this is happening in the same day. Yep. But this yep. was different. <laughs> this was not quite dead. It was a very, very eventful I day for her. speak when I found it. Until my repairs gave it a voice. So began an exchange of knowledge. It wanted to know everything about our world. Its tribes and machines. But the spire was always its foremost concern. What did it want to know about the spire? Its precise location. The surrounding geography. Who controlled the land. Meanwhile, Hades revealed to me many of the intricacies of ancient technology. It bid me to recover and repair more focuses. Before long, I had a couple dozen up and running. Enough to equip a small army. The commanders of one, anyway. <laughs> I didn't care. Yeah, if only. I was again, so much. Executive this dysfunction is a hell of a gremlin. You have no idea. I right. don't need to hear anything uh, more. Let's, uh, let's uh, press on. The things you've done in the pursuit of knowledge, Silence. Pure recklessness. Aloy, this wasn't a confession to elicit your judgment. <sighs> Unbelievable. I've done all I can. From here on out, the rest is up to you. The fuck are you doing? Take my lance. Fit the master override to it, and you have a means of injection. Then I just need to get close enough to Hades' skull to stab it in? Exactly. Oh, no problem. Silence! Is he going on a suicide mission or something, or is he just where will you go? Deucing out. Elsewhere. And everywhere. There's so much more to discover before the world ends. Literally going, this ain't my problem anymore, bye. To you, of course. As it turned out, it was yours all along. Hey, are you uh are you a descendant of Ted by any chance? You know, just ask it. Ooh, he, his lance is a little spinny piece of metal. Hold on, you did a bunch of tying motions, but you just slotted it in, like, on a section. Why? Why? I have to tell Avad that the Eclipse are ready to strike. After what happened with Durval, I know he'll defend the city. Okay, show on that. Ooh, and there's merchants. Um, so I can do a round of buying and selling to see if they maybe have better better stuff. And this time I'll remember to buy a bloody uh, shotgun. I keep meaning to get it and then I keep forgetting. I'll probably replace the rope caster because I always forget to use that anyway. And I think the shotgun has um, elemental ammunition that I don't have access to. I mean, I call it a shotgun, but it's that's more like a short-range spear-chucking thing. Its description was basically 
sounded like a shotgun. That uh, that floating bar is sure, sure struggle bussing. Just needs like a quarter of an eighth of an inch of a pixel. Come on, you can do it. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Come on, come on. I don't. Know. It take me. I, I was gonna zoom in on it, but I don't. <laughs> I don't have enough stuff put together. Do that ad hoc. So let's definitely save. <laughs> yeah. Stick together after all. Yeah, the uh, 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 four fifths of the loading is Aloy uh, doing up her hair. <laughs> all right, merchant, what you got for me? Weapons. I don't have... Okay, so let me sell. I need to find everything that's just merchant fodder. Don't I have something like an absurd amount of some things? Yeah. I have way too much blaze. Ah, thank you for the boot. Much easier to see now that I, uh, I'm a little bit larger. <laughs> All right. Boar skin? Why do you need boar skin? Are you bloody kidding me? Can I buy a boar skin off of you? No. Yeah, that would have been too easy. Can I buy health potions? Yes. Well, fuck. No shotgun for us then, it seems. Hey, you're about to be attacked. Okay, hey, thanks, bye. What brings you to Meridian? A threat. Helis commands a legion of fanatics called the Eclipse. They will attack soon from the west with an army of ancient war machines. But that's not the worst of it. They'll bring a mind with them. God, demon, machine, whatever you want to call it. It's called Hades. And it doesn't want Meridian at all. It wants the Spire. And if it gets there, it will send out a call, waking more ancient machines, more than we could ever defeat. All will be lost. It's like, no pressure or anything. 
I'm trying to understand, but my responsibility lies with Meridian. Meridian isn't the target of Odd. You have to defend the Spire. Perhaps the Vanguard, your Radiance. Yes. Send them to the Spire. Aaron knows Aloy. He won't question it. And have the City Guard fortify the Western Ridge. There they can be seen to protect Meridian and the Alight, where the Spire rests. Aloy. Allow me to... apologize for my behavior before. After everything that happened with Ursa, I was confused. If we're to fight together on the brink of life and death, I'd prefer to do so with your forgiveness. Then you have it. As long as you don't confuse me with her again. Even a king can learn his lesson. Good then. I'm, I'm glad that's behind us. Now, it will take time to prepare our defenses. Please, tell me what you know of our enemies. Everything. I don't know about everything, but I'll tell you what I can. Talk to Blameless Molag. <clears throat> All right, gotta do all the random talking before the final mission. Panic in the city will only create another enemy. <laughs> he does have a uh, fabulous <sighs> headpiece. Preparations are underway on the ridge of defenses and at the spire. Word was sent to every corner of the Sundom. Our allies offered their steel. Some came for Meridian, others for shards. But many came for you by name. For me. Don't be so humble. And the Spire. Erend and the Vanguard are there? Indeed. Uh, clashing breastplates together and testing out their battle cries, I suppose. A number of the Nora have also arrived at the Spire. They have resisted the offer of a royal audience. Perhaps you could parlay with them. I will. I suppose all we can do is wait for the attack. Exactly. It's not a feeling I cherish, but our spotters at Evening Sign report there's still no movement in the West. So, if there's more you need to do elsewhere, seize this time to do it. Otherwise, I've made the apartment of Olin Delverson available to you. You can sleep there, if sleep comes. Certainly, uh, hint, hint, once you start this, you can't go back until it's done. And I'll need to fucking go to this one. Waymarker Prime. Um, let's go ahead and push the ads back since uh, it looks like it's going to be a little bit before the final battle. And I don't want ads to happen while well, that goes on. Oop. I have a matter of grace and beauty I would like to discuss with you. It is a bit annoying that I can't really get rid of pre-rolls. Like, it's only getting rid of about 30 minutes. I thought I could get rid of it for an hour. But there's like a like 10 minute cooldown between ads, so I can't like stack my banked time of no pre rolls. Should I sleep? Did I leave anything unfinished? Um, actually, hold on. Where's a save? Can I save? Let's make a let's make a hard save point real quick before we go in, just in case there is no like post game. There probably is. That's usually how games go nowadays. But just in case, I want to have a uh, a hard 
save file for before the final. We have a bit of time to kill anyway. Let me through! All right, let's do this. And you, if you leave your hair up like that, you're gonna wake up to a hell of a lot of knots in the morning. How could you sleep, Elizabeth, with a weight like this pressing on you? How did you rust after you lost your family? Silence? Are you there? I guess I shouldn't ask ghosts for advice. Ah, sounds like the battle started while I was asleep. Signs from the west. Sun King of Odd awaits you at the Temple of the Sun. Fires, perhaps? Massing forces for the long march to the city gates? That's not wood smoke. Then what is it? The end. Or how it begins, anyway. Oh, shit! That's, uh... Wow. Um, I mean, yep, that's what that thing can do. Oh god, there's multiple. Oh shit. Hopefully I don't have to fight multiple at the same time. The Deathbringers you spoke of? To the guns! To the guns! Now! I mean, uh, Deathbringers is very apt. Oh. All of you, be ready to fire. Will the guns hold them back? Oh shit, sabotage. I feel like if I had gone to inspect the defense points, I may have been able to make that easier, but... This motherfucker... No! Rally the vanguard. Send reinforcements. Fatal. No. We need those guns. No, he will no, cut no, you no. down. Not this time. He listens mine. That motherfucker will die. You he took my spear away last time. Should have fought me in a sun ring then. Oh, what the? Oh, my weapon now has an electric electric effect. Ah. What? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? You cannot escape our grasp. You have been Should have fought in this thundering. Burn, baby, burn! Keep 
him away. Ow. Serious? Are you serious? It's giving way. Ow. Too dangerous and close. What are you before the terror of the sun? The one who will take you down. Why am I climbing? What's going on here? I am chosen. You came from nothing. Fucking choose these nuts. Ow. Nothing. Ow. Oh, I should have taken. I should have been taking fire resistance potions. God damn it! No, 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 no! Don't let me die. A Chosen to die. This was not meant to be. Chosen. Hades only chose you because you're a fool. Yeah. A sadistic butcher, too stupid to see. This is you for my father. Here. Your whole life was a failure, and soon. No one will even remember you. Turn your face to the sun and think about that. Get some, get some sacrifice chat. <laughs> That's a that's a sacrifice to the sun if I ever done it. All right, now onto the real boss, Hades. Hades Town, way deep down, way deep under the ground. Hades was not defend, making some mighty big deals. I don't wonder how we. Where do you need me? These guns earlier. They mince me to out of them. Just fucking kill all robots in that general area.
Come on. That was, uh, I cut that one a little close. Can I, uh, can I take one of these with me when I leave? Because, uh, nice. Oh, I didn't realize there were more belchers over here. Serious. Okay. All right. What do we got? What's next? What's next? We have... All right, round two. this too many times. Like, one round was fine, but, uh, this could get really repetitive really fast. Oh, no, shoot! It was shooting at me. I just realized. what's going on here. Seems like they're getting better about uh, targeting me. Uh, it's probably because of those fucking machines getting close by. There's a robot right next to me. Okay. Don't want to be here when that hits. Man, they are really getting on my tail a lot faster on the second round. Oh shit, a Stormbird. Not good, not good. Need some hoot.
right, we go back and forth once again. Are you serious? Oh, crap! Yeah, I know. How nice is it? Okay, I think we're just down to this war walker, or this uh, death bringer. And I should finish this wave. Hopefully, either that's going to be the last wave, or there's going to be like a brand new Uber robot as uh, a third wave. We've had, we had the death bringers. We had the thunderhawk, which we've only fought one previously. So I don't think it would do like another round of Deathbringers plus Thunderhawk. Yep, there we go. Cutscene. What? Where did those three guys appear? We were taking them out. Incoming! And then Aloy died in a bunch of rubble. Game over. Hades is just this orb that they're dragging hey. around. Aloy! Aloy! Tab. My old mother, you survived. I thought you were killed. No, 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 he has a bee. The Teb. He's me. okay. No, no. Wounded, but alive, mostly. The machines blasted through. This guy's safe. Going. They marched on the spire, dragging that thing with them. Take care of the others, Teb. I've got to go. The fire and the flames would carry on. Get behind cover! Aloy, go! We'll draw them. Now you face their true son, Shadow Demon. <laughs> Ca California in the summertime. Or hell, just the uh, Pacific Northwest in the summertime. Go for a nice little swim real quick. Helpful. I just don't mind me just getting some meds. Yep. Should also make some arrows while I'm running. Go to the spire. Stop, Hades. It's begun. Hades is transmitting. Bam, how did he climb all the way up there? Damn, Hades is just transmitting out all the bad vibes. No. I think that kid's in trouble. Hey, maybe part of your uh, breaking the encryption shouldn't have been shutting them down, but like having them destroy themselves. That might have been a better idea.
Oh no. They've activated the suck. It must have gotten through the defenses. Venora. Aaron's vanguard. I have to get up there. If only we hadn't constructed this pathway wide enough for Hades to be drug. Perhaps we could have, you know, made it more Keep difficult. Going. Keep pushing. I knew this wouldn't be easy. Alright. So no holding back. Let's see. I feel like this is gonna be a puzzle boss fight more than like a DBS check. So I wonder how that's gonna be. Aloy! It's Aloy! Well, you. You can see that. We thought you'd fallen at the ridge. No, the ridge fell on me. Well, I got knocked down, but I got up again. Left. I have to face Hades. Not alone. My fight. I can't ask you to come with me. We were about to go over the top anyway, right? Right. The metal devil must fall. I should stock up. Last chance. I won't say no to resources. Let's do this. Hey, a convenient arena. <laughs> hey, just like, yeah, just kind of shove me in over here. Has been anticipated. Entity will not halt transmission. Uh, to contrary, fucking calculations this. are precise. Presence of entity has been accounted for. Alright. I mean, I've killed a few of these already. It's no big deal. It's not overheating as fast as it did previous with most of the others, but Okay, that's new.
That's what I'm talking about. That's a lot of damage. There we go. Use his own gun against it. Yeah, boy. Overheat it, overheat it. No, 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 potion, potion. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Come on, come on, come on. We got this. Oh, fuck. Come on. Come on. Come on. It's almost down. Shit. Can't fail right at the end. Insert the thing! I'll, uh, if I'll... Hydrate and stretch now. Thank you, Mystic. Oh, my back. Gaia? Elizabeth. 
Master Override armed. To activate state name and rank. Elizabeth Sobek. Oh, thank you. Thank you for the mana, Iris. Master Override activated. Purging Extinction Protocol. Fuck yes! Machines disabled! Mission accomplished! First try on the final fight too. That felt that felt very satisfying. Had to use every single potion though. I got a uh, really close at the end there. Uh, makes me wonder what the what the sequel covers then. <laughs> Almost fucking just shooting him. <laughs> Gonna, we're gonna have to watch the VOD then. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna reload and do everything all over again. Gaia log three. Okay, February. Gaia. Uh, sorry about that. Where was I? You were telling a story. Right. Yeah. So, um, like I was saying, it was a children's electronics kit but i hacked the wiring to an auto battery and solar pv so the grass caught fire and uh so did a, a tall pine that had stood there uh, i don't know maybe a hundred years query you were how old six my mother was home thank god so she called the fire department and after she took me out to the lawn and showed me the dead baby birds because there were nests in the pine tree Query, what did you feel? I'm not sure. I remember yelling that I didn't care. And that's when my mother took my face in her hands and spoke. Query, what did she say? She said I had to care. She said, Elizabeth, being smart will count for nothing if you don't make the world better. You have to use your smarts to count for something. To serve life, not death. Oh, fuck. You often tell stories of your mother, but you are childless. I never had time. Guess it was for the best. Of course, if all the way at the end. A child, Elizabeth, what would you have wished for him or her? Oh, no. I guess. I would have wanted her to be curious and willful, unstoppable even, but with enough compassion to heal the world just a little bit. The game's gotta go out on feels. <sighs> anyway, that's all I've got for now, Gaia. Time to tuck in.
I wish you a pleasant sleep, Elizabeth. Thank you. I'll catch you tomorrow. Okay. Okay. I guess while the credits run, I I wonder if there might be something in the post credits that indicates for for the sequel. Because otherwise, the only thing I can think of for the sequel is is something to do with those journals being reassembled and decrypted. But um, really, really great game. Um. I think it, the setting is very good. The mix, uh, the, the techno primitivism, I love the style. I love the ecology it evoked with the machines interacting um, with the ecosystem. The, the different cities were distinct. Um, the characters were beautifully designed. Um, they were also very diverse. I think that's that's very, you know, it's 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 a little thing, but I think it's it's very effective, especially for the concept of like they they they're taking people all over the world and re restarting once once everything came back together. Um, it would have been really easy for them to try and just make everything a monoculture, and I'm I'm really glad they didn't go that route. I'm really happy they went with. Um, all, all, all looks, all, all characterizations, all, you know, they went with the melting pot. Um, I think the only thing that really I didn't like is some of the crafting, um, and it could just be because I, I was just pursuing the main quest so hard, maybe it would have been easier from doing side quests, but, like, some of the stuff requiring rare materials off of um, certain monsters to farm up. Ugh, a little bit tedious. Um, but God, it's just the story. The story was amazing, and it did such a great job of, of telling the past, putting the pieces together, and dripping it into this world we explored and um oh yeah I, I i can't forget yeah can't forget the worst thing lvp ted all my homies hate ted yeah it, it did a great job of uh, uh 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 getting the heartstrings pulled and uh making me cry that's for sure um mm. oh. why did it Okay. Oh boy. It's certainly certainly a good cry, and uh as I always say, crying mm -hmm. is just vomiting for the soul. It's, uh, you feel better once it's done. <laughs> oh. All right, come on, come on, credits.
I don't know if the sequel is on PC yet, so I don't know if I can plan to jump directly into um, the sequel. Um, I'll, I'll probably check after this. Yeah, yeah, this sequel pretty recent. Okay, I'll hydrate. Gotta, gotta replace all that, all those liquids I just used up. I'll need to uh, <clears throat> think about what to put in for Fridays. I have a few options. If anything, it would be uh, Tarkov Fridays, but I'm I'm waiting for uh, the Tarkov reset, and then I'll probably I'll probably uh, be doing a bunch of that. At least until I uh, get burnt out of doing first-person shooters for a while. All right, credits. Come on. Can we can we keep this under under six hours? <laughs> we're getting we're getting we got we got some padding. I wonder if I... you know what? Hmm. You know, I think it would be kind of on theme if I did Talos Principle. Because that's, that's pretty... it's different. It's more of a puzzle game. But it's still techy and it has been an extremely long time since I've played it. I don't really remember much. And I don't believe I ever did all of the stuff in it. I think I just got like a basic ending. Uh, Krimbus is on Sunday, isn't it? Uh, probably, probably not. I got a, I got a potluck. I'm actually going to, which was half the reason I made that, um, made that super stew or whatnot, which I am absolutely going to get a bowl of for dinner. So I'll probably, probably be busy on Krimbus, but Monday, Monday we will <laughs> probably fire up Hollow Knight and fucking figure out what the hell I'm going to do there because I have no money and many things that require money. Um, I know there's a couple immediate areas I want to hit up now that I have a double jump. I want to make sure I snag items. And then... Uh, I mean, do I even have a liver? I I feel like the Hollow Knight is sort of like a porcelain shell or a chitinous shell with spooky ghost stuff inhabiting it. I don't I don't know if I have organs. I just have juice. I just have milk. <laughs> I 
right, we're hitting we're hitting in memory of, so we should be getting to the end. Thank you for playing. There we go. Yeah, that was some long credits to not be like I I was expecting like voiceover, especially when it said like log. Um. Yeah, let's skip that. There we go. I just jammed it in there and left. Kills a god. Refuses to elaborate. Leaves. Oh, fuck! Are you kidding me? God damn it, Ted. Hello, old friend. Remember me? We've still so much to discuss. He fucking so planned it. Revealed. Your masters, for example. The ones who sent the signal that woke you. Knowledge has its rewards, don't you think? Well, let's begin. Silence, you fucking chuckle fuck. Uh, silence is causing a second impending apocalypse. You stupid schmuck. All right. All right. Fucking Ted Mark II. Hello. This is Drecky of the Post Production. Thank you for watching or listening to this series. Whether it was background noise while you worked, experiencing a game vicariously, or you just like my thoughts and reactions. Feel free to leave a question, comment, or suggestion of a similar game if I haven't played it. I stream on Twitch as Drecky Ormer if you wish to see things live and unedited. Regardless, have a great rest of your time zone, and I appreciate the time we shared. Bye!